Animal Crossing is a fantastic vessel to get out your anger, and today I'm going to pit my vendettas against these Animal Crossing villager species designs because I can and nobody's stopping me. The real secret of life, everything that I could ever tell you, is that sometimes you just need to make fun of an Animal Crossing villager and you'll feel a little bit better. It might not get you into heaven, but it sure won't keep you out of hell. As always, we have my weird little tier list because I can't be normal about anything. At the top, we have clear phone case with glitter in it. I just feel like a god every time I look at clear phone cases with glitter in them, all the jelly shit in there. If I can watch things float around, I become a religious figure. I become the next Joan of Arc, okay? Every time I look at them, I feel like I could enter the White House and run a country. Something about clearness, something about watching things float around just makes me feel like I could maybe have a relationship in the future. I think that if everybody would just calm down, sit on the stairs, and tussle with their phone case a little bit, everybody would be okay. I do not have one of these, and that's the reason I am still depressed. The next tier we have is the concept of chewing on glass bottles. I just want to swallow glass so bad. I know it would hurt, but I just feel like the texture would be so satisfying and nice. I don't care if there's blood involved. I really would like to eat a glass bottle. Just once, okay? Some people say that glass candy or rock candy or whatever you want to call it is very similar. I don't believe that. How do you know that eating glass is going to kill me? I haven't done it yet. I could be immortal. You don't know. I have not tested it yet. Innocent until proven guilty, okay? Give me glass. Let me chomp on the glass. And please do not put me in jail for doing that, okay? It's my life. I do whatever I want. This iced coffee is like destroying my throat, which is not the best for filming, but whatever, it's fine. I need my caffeine or I'll die right now in front of you and change the trajectory of your life forever. So do you want that? No. Next, we have your cousin, but not the one you know. I'm talking about the cousin that you don't really talk to that much, not the one you grew up being best friends with or shared your entire life with, but the one that you smile half-heartedly at at Thanksgiving and kind of cock your head a little bit whenever their name is mentioned because it takes you a couple minutes to remember who the hell that even is. I was that cousin for most people. This is not a read. It's just a mid-tier, okay? Next, we have paid for Twitter blue. This is a very, very simple category. We all know exactly who's going in there. We all have our own predetermined conceptions of what a Twitter blue user is, and personally, I have them cemented like a goddamn sidewalk. I'm talking complete Elon Musk dick rider. I'm talking his to currently get Elon Musk's attention on social media by being nice to him while everybody else is not. If you paid for the Twitter blue check mark, please. I wasn't going anywhere with that, just please. Close to last but not least, we have Hey, Can We Talk? I'm talking about the text you get where somebody just out of the blue randomly says, Hey, can we talk? Why would you do that, you sicko? Why? If you text me, hey, can we talk? I think that I am about to get blown up. I think that somebody is outside of my house with a bomb, okay? I do not expect you to be like, do you want to go get dinner? I expect you to tell me that you wish that I was turned inside out and put through a meat grinder. It's never something important either. If you start a text like that, I will never forgive you. Last but actually not least, we have you are stuck in a target with Brandon Yuri. There's nothing to say about this, okay? I don't even care if you're a Panic at the Disco fan. So am I. Former Panic, I love Former Panic, but if you put me in a Target with Brendan Neary right now, I would rather you waterboarded me. There is nothing in this earth that you could pay me to convince me to stand in a Target with this man, the fluorescent lights, him asking if I want to hear the new album that he's been working on that I refuse to listen to because I think it'll kill me on impact. No. And then he'd chase you through the woods like Slender Man. Awful. Those are all of our tears. I hope that you feel a very weird connection to them and don't know why you relate to them, but you do. And the first villager species we have here are the eagles, represented by Apollo. I think the eagles are a very interesting first example here because I don't know if I love them or if I hate them. There's a couple eagles I love. I would say I really love Quinn. Is that it? I genuinely have problems with almost everybody else. Apollo reminds me of somebody who would see you in a bar and say, hey, we really like your vibe. Do you want to have a threesome? No, Apollo, I don't. Get your leather jacket off your chair because it's not making you look any cooler, and go buy your wife a nice drink instead of the $2 beer that they found in the back of the body freezer at a mortician's. I don't think so, Apollo. I mean, honestly though, if you're an Apollo lover, I get it, I understand it. Broken people are fun to play with, but I just don't really understand why you are seeing him for what he is. Buzz is giving the vibes of somebody who wears camouflage to the grocery store. I don't think so, Buzz. Leave me alone. I think the eagles are not the worst design. They're so triangular though. I feel like they are just too pointy. They are threatening to me. I'm gonna say, hey, can we talk? Because I feel like almost every eagle wants to say, hey, can we talk to you? But this time they're actually gonna tell you like, hey, I pissed in a bottle and put it under your bed and you have to deal with that. Specifically Buzz again, I'm talking about Buzz. Anyway, awful. Okay, you know what? Apple should not have been the representative here. Absolutely not. Like this was a terrible choice. They really fucked up here. Okay, it's like sending your worst soldier to the top of the line. Apple is my worst enemy. Me and Apple have been in a scuffle for years. I have put her 
her behind bars before and she still dreams of chewing on my bones and spitting them out in front of my children. I think she wants to drain the light from my eyes in front of all of my family and I think that's very interesting, Apple. Don't do that. But Apple is not the only problem here, okay? Apple is far from the only problem here. We have Rodney, we have Graham, we got the two incels being hamsters. What's that about? Looking at Graham's computer makes me think I will also be arrested just for knowing that it exists. Rodney has not only been on several wanted papers, but in several different identities and countries as well. Rodney is not a safe person to be around. And don't get me started on Flurry, Voldemort looking ass. I can't do it with her. She has a literal human inside of her house. She has a fucking hamster inside of her house. That is so fucked up on so many levels. I don't even know what's wrong with her and I don't want to know. Like there is no medical diagnosis that would make me feel more secure about that. Hamster is terrible. Brendan Urie because I feel like Apple was also credited on high hopes. The chickens. I feel like this one is going to be kind of controversial because it's not that I like the chickens. I just don't think they're as terrible as a lot of people say they are design wise. I feel like there are a lot of bad chickens but the design is pretty okay. I like Becky honestly and I like Ken. Ken is fun. I feel like Ken would be the kind of guy that you would meet outside of a bar who's like giving himself a tattoo and also just got cursed with the stigmata and is writhing around on the floor and is about to meet a priest. I don't know. Ken reminds me of somebody who is really just out there living for himself and I feel like that's where I'm getting my good taste from is Ken but I also don't mind Becky to be honest with you. Plucky scares me because I feel like she just drinks straight up pickle juice and that worries me about anybody. I don't hate pickle lovers really. I really don't. But if you drink the juice straight from the thing, I hate you, okay? Just get out of my life, please. Never look at me again. That just seems like something that would get you blasphemed. If you ever step foot inside of my house, it will just turn to rubble. The chickens have a little bit of country flair to them, which I don't like. I feel like Ava would definitely be in a Christian Discord server for single women, but there's something else here at play where I feel like the chickens could be something good, you know? They're very much the juicy couture track suits of Animal Crossing villagers. They look good sometimes. I'm gonna put them in your cousin but not the one you know because I feel like a chicken would very much be the cousin that you don't really feel like interacting with but you're not exactly scared of either, you know? I feel like I have an Ava in my family. I might. I know I have an Ava in my family actually. The sheep. Listen to me. Listen to me. Get close. Hi. I'm in your walls. The sheep are wronged constantly. I have seen so many people say they hate the sheep. Why? You hate happiness, you hate joy, you hate the sparkle in a child's eyes when they open toys on Christmas day because that's what the sheep are to me. Of course there are bad sheep. I'm looking at you, Kashmir. I just want to know why they put a turtle in a sheep costume because that's not even actually a sheep, although I would like her to perform my top surgery. I love Willow so much. Muffy, are you kidding me? The goth woman of my dreams? Marry me. Come to me, please. I will do anything for you. In fact, I am already doing anything for you. I'm on my knees, Muffy. Hello? Pietro is is fun because he's representative of the entire Animal Crossing community thinking that there was going to be another update after they said they were going to stop updating after 2.0. And I love him. You know, I love a Hong Kong ass bitch. I really do. I love a clown. I think everything about clowns is perfect. I'm not afraid of clowns anymore. I used to be. And then I just realized, you know what? You shouldn't be afraid of yourself. But the sheep in general, I feel like their fluffy design is great. I don't care that their shirts get a little stressed out. Deal with it, okay? Deal with it. What? It's not their problem. I love the sheep. An absolute fucking delight. The concept of chewing on glass bottles, crunchy, delicious, welcoming, inviting. I also want Bobber in my town so bad. I used to have Timbra and I feel like Timbra was like the bitchiest villager I've ever had and I miss her deeply. She could run me over with a tractor and I would say, okay, can I go get you a cup of tea or something? The tigers, we have Bianca representing them. Lying ass bitch. Okay, I... I'm sorry, okay? I'm deeply sorry. But I am a lover of many of the tigers, except for Leonardo. Leonardo, shut the fuck up. I just feel like he's already gonna tell me that my 401k is fucked up and that I'm never gonna live my life happily and that I'm gonna die alone and old in my house. I feel like Leonardo is a track teacher who got fired for sleeping with the art teacher. You know, it's just very disgusting vibes from him. But Claudia is one of my favorite villagers and I will go down on that ship, okay? She looks like she sells Avon, but she knows what she's doing and she's climbing the ranks. She might be scamming people, but she's doing it in a hot way. So Claudia, you're allowed to stay. Bianca's a backstabbing bitch and I never want to hear from her again. Bangle reminds me of the feeling of eating a little honey crisp cracker that you got from the grocery store on clearance for $2. And it's just like going home and sitting on the playground and not the ones that I have with cigarette holes burned in them. I mean like a nice playground and just swinging your legs while you walk back and forth on the monkey bars, okay? That is calm to me. Bangle is home to me. Bangle reminds me of sweet honey tea. However, the design is a little weird to me. I feel like everything about it is just slightly off, but I like all of the villagers, almost all of the villagers, in this category. I think that there aren't a lot of bad tigers. You know what? I might be lying. Rowan's also really bad. 
their lips just kind of look like they're is it lips would you call that lips mouth i don't know the big puffy things it kind of reminds me of memory foam i feel like i could squish it and it would just form back but i also know that these villagers are just kind of there i never see people really dreamy hunting for them except for myself when i looked for claudia i miss you every day claudia i hope you're rotting in the void happily i really do but nobody ever thinks about them nobody's ever thinking about bianca nobody's ever thinking about bangle and that does make me sad but in a way i understand they just blend in like little ants on the road i'm gonna go with your cousin but not the one you know again claudia i love you please come home the ducks all of the ducks scream like preschool toy that has been shoved up toddlers noses so many times and that makes me a little bit uncomfortable except for molly okay molly's adorable but i just wonder why they look like they are made out of silicone why they look like they're chewable like i want to put bill in my mouth and just chew for a minute like it's a fucking ice cube mold did y'all ever chew on ice cube molds or like the little pencil grippies that's what they remind me of they look so pliable like you could just stretch them out and like throw them at the wall and they would go splat and that's not a good thing necessarily i feel like all of them are very empty eyed that's my main problem they lack a lot of the personality that the other designs have in my opinion and they also kind of look like they would have no teeth ducks remind me of the people you would meet outside of a walmart parking lot who are trying to shove a weird amount of tvs into the back of their car like did they get those for something special why do you need that many tvs what are you doing with them are you setting up a surveillance room or did you just get them on sale if they're on sale why did you buy all of them up and not leave them for anybody else what are your motives are those two coupons hanging out of your bag or a ticket ducks paid for twitter blue i feel like they're naive enough to pay for twitter blue in a way that is so wholesome i am sorry you know no twitter blue user should be seen as wholesome and i don't see them as wholesome but i see their intentions as wholesome you know i know why they're doing this and it's not to ride elon musk's dick but it is in fact to just feel like they mean something and i'm sorry that they haven't gotten the validation they need to not pay him eight dollars don't move to tumblr it'll just go badly for you sweet baby also bill is red i will not have this discourse again bill is not brown he is red he looks brown in this picture but that's because the saturation is off he is not brown he is red that is a maroon and maroon is red maroon is not brown i swear to god the ostriches i've never once had a good experience with an ostrich ass bitch okay let me explain to you here's where the vendettas really start to kick in here's where i am v from v for vendetta and i'm going to blow up the big ben or whatever the fuck he blew up i don't think they called it the big ben in the movie but whatever it's fine blanche we all know what Blanche has done. We don't need to talk about it again. But Phoebe is my ex-girlfriend. Phoebe caused me a lot of problems. Phoebe caused me a lot of heartbreak. She actively brought another woman into this to make me feel shitty. She tried to steal my girlfriend, Ione, at the time. Phoebe didn't want me to be happy unless it was with her. And I'm sick and tired of it. And not only that, but I have had to deal with ostriches looking like fucking Queenie. I'm sorry, but what happened here, Queenie? What's going on? You know, what's happening here? Gladys is really cute. I feel like she just reminds me of a plain mobile train. I don't know what else to say about that. She's just so plasticky. I just don't like the ostriches, okay? Find me an ostrich that will treat me right. Find me an ostrich that won't treat me like shit and maybe I'll reconsider. But for now, fuck the ostriches. Brendan Yuri. Spending a day with my ex-girlfriend is like being in a target with Brendan Yuri, and that's saying something. The dogs are our classic. The dogs in the Animal Crossing community are really something you can't go wrong with. They are akin to cats in that same area. There is no dog that will necessarily wrong you. I even like all the dogs that not everybody likes. I like Marcel. They are a hot coffee on a cold day. They are popcorn with no toppings on it. They are so easy to please, so universally beloved, and that's why they are such a staple. But that also makes them very boring, in my opinion. There is no flavor to something that will please everybody. Even though I am a lover of all of these dogs, I'm a Benjamin lover, okay? Benjamin is my baby. Biscuit is my baby. I don't see why any of these people should be frowned upon, but I also feel like the dogs could have been so much more but they instead focused on being a general population pleaser and as somebody who is weird looking i just can't condone that you know i do love bones very much goldie is a sweetheart cherry is everything to me in fact cherry means the world to me cherry i love you cherry is the best dog she is the one who went outside the mold she tried to fuck things up and she did it bones definitely runs some kind of like drop shipping business but i don't think he's quite smart enough to understand what he's doing so i don't really blame him for that honestly but 
I'm gonna go with the concept of chewing on glass bottles because there are so many dogs that are lovable, okay? It's a general surface of happiness that they give off, a general safety net, and that's good. Everybody needs a safety net, so they will be our safety net today. I'm pretty sure everybody wants to hear what I think about the mice and watch me tear them to shreds. Yeah, okay. I hate the fucking mice so much. There are two mice that I like. There are two, which is honestly more than I would think that there were mice that I like, but whatever, it's fine. I like Petrie and I like Greta. I like these two women, this woman in STEM, this little old grandma. They are sweethearts. They are adorable. They would definitely be somebody who I would help with their groceries, carrying them into their house, okay? But everybody else can rot. Everybody fucking else can rot. You ever seen Broccolo? That motherfucker is gonna be in juvie before we know it, as somebody who was probably supposed to be in juvie. You know what? He is so infuriating to look at. I just want to get into a tussle with him. I know he's a child. I don't care. Brie, who is our representative in this scenario, just reminds me of somebody who would tell me that my perfume is not good enough for my natural pheromones and that I should change it and maybe get something a little bit more expensive smelling. Shut up, Brie. Shut up. I don't have money. I'm busy paying your fucking taxes because billionaires never get taxed. I know she's a billionaire. Awful. Brie, go to hell. And that's not even talking about Limburg because I don't even need to fucking say anything about Limburg, okay? Hey, can we talk? Stop it. Get some help. But leave Petrie and Greta alone. I will adopt them. They're my babies. Why are we doing this right now? You know, I really have to talk about these people. Can I just move on? Can I just not have a say in this because I really don't want to get banned from YouTube. I really don't. The hippos have haunted me my entire life. Bertha has haunted me. Bubbles has fucking haunted me. These people follow you around like some kind of ghost, some kind of grudge seeping into your heart at all times. They will never let you rest because they feed off of disgust and depression and hatred. The hippos are something that I cannot forgive. The hippos have such a way of fucking with your head. It's such a psychological warfare tactic. You see them and instantly you're ready to fight. You're instantly ready to get yourself arrested. And yet, they win every time and nobody's gonna stop them. Nobody's ever gonna stop them. Bertha and Hippo was my first campsite villager ever in the entire game. I thought that you could leave them. I thought that you could just not take them and I suddenly learned that I had to take him and I have never been more angry in my life. It truly fueled me as a person to become the awful human being I am today and Hippo will be blamed for that forever with his greasy ass head. Shave it. Shave your head, buddy. I don't want to see that anymore. Shrek green looking ass. Brendan Neary. Brendan fucking Yuri, tell me that Hippo wouldn't get into a relationship with that man, okay? I'm talking an intimate PDA relationship with Brendan Yuri. You gotta be sick to do that. The lions, no. Absolutely not. I promise we're gonna be less negative, but I just have to get through all of these negatives first because I cannot stand the lions. Okay, every single one of them looks like their name is Chad and they have actively gotten out of a court case for catcalling a woman. Every single one of these. And Bud, I can kind of respect because he just looks like he's off the shit and I feel like he's harmless. But honestly, every single one of the rest of you, get out. Rory, no. That bitch who I don't even wanna think about that has the green hair and looks like he knows every single slur and is gonna read them out loud in class for his final presentation. Le Leonard Leopold Leopold that's his name Harry Potter looking glasses motherfucker shut up to the lions paid for Twitter blue I don't know if they're necessarily above any of these people they're not but I just know that they would give Elon Musk any money if they asked they would bend down and suck him off if he asked okay I am tired of everybody ignoring that the lions are a real threat here they are more of a threat than we've ever noticed and nobody discusses it they're like oh the mice oh the gorillas okay okay have you seen these men think about what life could be like for you if you invited them and then just really reconsider your options gosh the elephants are such a toss-up for me. I feel like there are some really beautiful designs for them, and I feel like there are also some that make me a little bit uncomfortable, like they're just staring into my soul, trying to figure out what antidepressants I take. I do not like Eloise, who is our representative in this case, because I feel like she just reminds me of somebody who would try and get Toys R Us shut down for selling a toy that kind of looked a little too skimpy for her liking. She's really a wasp mom in this situation. Eloise is a person that I have deep trouble with, and that's the thing. I feel like a lot of the elephants I could maybe stomach not Axel. That motherfucker is the concept for the next A24 horror movie and I'm gonna see him in a dark hallway tomorrow. But Tia? Oh my god, I love Tia. Margie? What a sweetheart. I love Margie so much. Quite frankly, the elephants are such a toss-up, so I feel like they're gonna go into your cousin but not the one you know. Absolutely. I would definitely see Eloise at a family gathering and I would not offer her my blunt, but I would offer Tia my blunt, okay? Thank you. Finally, some good fucking food. We have the wolves. And I will say to you right now with my whole chest that I believe this is fully one of the best villager designs they've ever done, 100%. I love the shaping of it. It's really giving a lot of room for creativity, I believe. I honestly think that they are so distinct and well-molded and there are so many beautiful wolves, okay? There are so many wolves to love in this scenario. I love Whitney. 
Whitney looks like she's gonna sell my entire house just so she can get another diamond on her ring, but in a cute and hot way. And I would let her do it, absolutely. Lawyer girl boss, she gives off lawyer vibes to me. So does Vivian, very law firm-esque. And I feel like Fang is definitely a fucking player, okay? He is a gray old player. These are fantastic. The design of the wolves is everything to me. Animal Crossing really just took an out of hand with that one. Clear phone case with glitter in it, my babies. The wolves are the perfect design. And I don't even have a favorite wolf villager really at this point. Like, none of my favorites are a wolf, but I will say that they have the best goddamn designs. You ever seen Freya? Freya knows what you did last summer. And we have another banger, very close. I don't know why all the bangers are being put together, but whatever, it's cool, it's fine. I guess we'll deal with it. You know what? You get a little burst of positivity in between the pain. The deer. Oh my god. Absolute 100% immediate top tier clear phone case with glitter in it. And this is a basic answer, I know that, but name one deer that isn't cute. Diana was one of the first villagers I ever really truly fell in love with, and I love her to this day. Fauna is a sweet little doe, and I will protect her with my life no matter what anybody says. I don't care that she's boring. I think the boring in this case is good. Everybody else is doing a little too much. Fauna is keeping it simple. Even Bruce is really cute. You ever seen Bruce? He's cute. Honestly, I had him for two minutes and I liked him at the time. Something about these little deer is so perfectly done and so pleasing to my eyes. It just feels like biting into a chiffon cake. Everything about them is the same rush of adrenaline as stealing from a Walgreens. I feel like the pigs could have been done so much better. I don't know what it is about them that turns me off because I can't exactly pinpoint it. Something about the design is just wrong. And I actually do really like Gala. I like Agnes too. I feel like Cobb is going to take my throat out of my neck when I fucking die and I don't like that. I think he's gonna dissolve it in acid and drink the acid. I don't know. That seems like something he would do. I think that at this point, if they were just changed a little bit, maybe like a smaller snout and maybe the ears be a little bit more pronounced because right now they just kind of look like two little symbols on the top of their heads. I would like them a lot more, but the pigs just aren't really doing it for me, unfortunately except for Agnes. Agnes, I love you. Paid for Twitter blue. I'm sorry. I just, it had to be done. Pigs give me the vibes of people who complain about their order during a rush hour at a fast food place and make the teenage employees cry. I don't really like it, in my opinion. It's not the best. The birds remind me of the tiny little piercing feeling of getting a flu shot. Something about their design is just so off-putting to me. There's not a single bird I can think of that I really, truly love. It's like, why not just stick with the ducks or the eagles or the chickens? We have enough birds here. Now it's just a big basic plain ass bird. Now we just got something that looks like a round head that you made in Blender and threw into the game. Jay looks like he came straight out of a fucking Disney Junior cartoon as a villain who is actively trying to figure out how to erase eyebrows from the world. Something about him is so sinister and evil. The only bird that I can think of actually kind of liking is maybe Midge. I like her little spirals. That's a fun little e-girl makeup look, I would say. I would do something like that, but everything else about them is off-putting. It's uncanny valley in the same way that Sophia the robot is uncanny valley. It makes you feel unsafe. Birds aren't real. Hey, can we talk? Absolutely. 110%. Would Jay not come up to you and be like, hey, can we talk? I crashed my car in front of two children and accidentally ran one of them over and now I need about $300,000 to pay for damages. Can you help me out, babe? I know that we've only been together for two weeks, but like I'm in a really sticky situation and I want to be with you in the long run. So it's just a small loan. Thank you, Jay. Fuck off. The goats. Oh my God. I love the goats so much. If you don't like the goats design, I'm sorry for you. I know that there's Gruff and Velma. Just shut up about them, okay? The good outweighs the bad in this situation. Nan, Chevra, even though I hate her ass for doing what she did to Nan, Sherb, all of these people are beautiful. All of these people have the perfect ratio of like little weird face to eyes, you know? The horns are adorable. Nan is my little witch baby who I will spin into a spider web and carry around with me for the rest of my life. Do not come after my goats. The concept of chewing on glass bottles, I love a crunchy bitch, and these guys would also like chewing on glass bottles and fabric and stuff because they're goats. So, you know what? Perfect. The kangaroos? I don't know. It's just something is here. Something is so off-putting. Like a Walton Files character. Like something you would see walking around in The Shining. Not necessarily to jump scare you, but just to make the atmosphere look a little bit wrong. I obviously don't like that their babies are mirroring them and that they look exactly the same and that they all have the same makeup on because that's very weird, but that's not even what I'm thinking about here. Like the babies have nothing to do with my thoughts at this point. It's just that they look so evil and nefarious and bad intent. Mentioned. There's nothing else that you can say about them that would take that away. If we look in Kit's eyes here, we see loss, we see loneliness, we see a heartbroken 
good human being. And does she take care of that? Does she go to therapy for it? No. She's taking it out somewhere, but we just don't know where, and that's kind of terrifying to me. Kit, I hope that you find peace. I hope you reach a state in this lifetime where you feel safe enough to express those emotions. I do kind of like Matilda. That's it. That's all I have, okay? Overall, I just cannot rock with them. They got the punching stance open at all times. They are violent human beings. They would never take the pacifist route. They are looking for violence and blood. And you know what? I'm looking for blood, but I'm not looking for violence, all right? Not that much of a freak. Paid for Twitter Blue. Absolutely. I know Kit is verified for her mommy blog. She's trying to get AdSense to give her a little bit more every month. And you know what? Me too, bitch. Me too. The frogs. Oh my god. They're perfect. They are so round and small. The small villagers are my personal favorites. Okay, listen. They are just so throwable. I feel like I could put them in a beanbag chair and just toss them off the Mississippi River bed and I would never see them again. And they are so small and cute. I love that they don't wear their little rain hats because they're frogs and they want the moisture. I feel like they were also really creative with a lot of these designs. I really love Drift because he's a poison dart frog. That's so cute. I hate Croak. I hate Cousteau. What the fuck is up with Cousteau? I hate the French ass little handlebar mustache. Shut up. He's gonna teach me how to like properly fold a sheet and I will just get so mad and leave and go to Bolivia or something. The man frogs are not my favorite except for Drift, but I can actively say to you that Lily is my everything, okay? Lily means the world to me. Puddles, me and you have shit. And I wish you would answer my calls to go get into a fight outside of a TJ Maxx because I really wanna get this over with and I don't wanna have this grudge anymore. Fuck you, Puddles. I mean, she did nothing wrong, but whatever, it's fine. I love a fucking frog. I really do. Frogs are one of my favorite animals ever, and I just think that they were the perfect design. They really got it down here. I know they don't really look like actual frogs, but like, whatever. Who gives a shit? Look at those little round eyes that you could just put in a slot machine. The concept of chewing on glass bottles. The frogs are peak design. Okay, sorry, but they are. The cubs... The cubs are so wild to me because there's villagers like Maple who are cubs and Judy even. I don't like Judy that much, but I think she's cute. I think she's a good design. And then like you kind of turn around and it's like, oh, hi, Beryl. Oh, wow, you're here? I didn't... I didn't know you would be at this party. I'm sorry. I'm just a little shocked. I was kind of hoping to talk to my friend. Do you know if they're here? Oh, they're in the bathroom? No, I don't really want to wait here. I just don't really feel that comfortable with it. Um, yeah, how's work going? How's the wife? Oh, she took the kids? Oh... Yeah, I'm sorry, Verald. Oh my god, look, I think that there's, like, a fire over there. I think things are burning down. I'm gonna go. Right. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. Yeah, you too. I'm sorry about your wife. No, I won't call her for you. I really don't know. I love Olive, even though she looks like she was possessed by Satan and now owns a church that kind of sacrifices people at night, but whatever. Not that I'm saying that Satanists do that. I just feel like she does that. Your cousin, but not the one you know. I feel like a cub could be in any single part of the spectrum. There is no cub that fits exactly where it's supposed to in the scheme of life, and I think that's perfect. I think Maple is adorable. Maple is one of my best friend's favorite villagers, so I respect her with my whole life. I think she's great. But I also think that if I ever see any of those motherfuckers again that look kind of terrifying, I will die. I'll also, Murphy has wronged me. I cannot explain it. He did not do anything, but he has wronged me. Murphy, fuck off. I don't need to say shit about the squirrels. We got small. All of my favorite villagers are squirrels. Okay, not all of my favorite villagers. A lot of my favorite villagers are squirrels. We got Marshall, Poppy. At one point it was Ioni, but you know what? Now she's the only squirrel I don't like. And Peanut. Peanut reminds me of somebody who was at January 6th, but whatever. Have you ever seen Sally? Pecan? Blair? Not one singular fucking miss. Okay, mm. Sheldon. I'm ignoring Sheldon. I'm allowed to do that, okay? If Poppy's in the same species, I'm allowed to ignore Sheldon. Fuck Sheldon. Big Bang Theory ass. If you talk to me about the Big Bang Theory, that is a one ticket way to hell for me, okay? I will not die peacefully either. I will writhe around, turn blue in front of you. It will not be good. Never talk to me about the Big Bang Theory. And I bet Sheldon watches the Big Bang Theory. I bet he's like, oh my god, he was named after me. No, he was named after a turtle, I think. The squirrels are peak character design. When they do that little ringing thing with their tail when they're happy, when they do the pleased reaction, that makes me want to live another day. That is like oat milk in your coffee, okay? Everything is perfect about it. Everything. Why did Nintendo do this? No, I thank God that Nintendo did this every day because it's all I have. The squirrels are everything to me. Anyway. The rhinos. Honestly? If we can be totally, completely candid on this day, there are a lot of good rhinos in my opinion. I think Azalea is cool. I think Meringue is really cool. I think that that motherfucker named Hornsby is kind of cute. I hate Tank. Why do you have a leaf on your head? Do you want me to take it off? I feel like he bite you if you tried to take it off. And then we also have Spike, who is just threatening to me. I feel uncomfortable. But Meringue and Azalea, I feel like, kind of make up for it. I also don't mind Rhonda. She's just so ballet teacher vibes. Everything about her reminds me of, like, the teacher who told me I was double-jointed and made me cry in front of all the other kids because she said it like an insult. I did not have fun in ballet, okay? I have a vendetta against ballet, too. I don't like it. Mm. 
I feel like I can't put rhinos up here. So I'm gonna go with the cousin, but not the one you know. Probably, I think. That's the best place for them. I have such a problem with the octopi just because of how fucking much they show up on villager hunts. Do you not have a life? You're not even supposed to be out of the goddamn water. Get back in the water and leave me alone. Stop coming to my home. If I haven't taken you already, I'm not gonna take you. Octavian looks like the same shit they make punching bags out of. He's shiny and he's bald and he looks weird and he looks like he is just absolutely aching to eat human flesh. And I don't like that. I love Marina though. Marina is the only octopus I like. The only one. But the rest of these motherfuckers, I am begging you to get out of my life and never talk to me again. I see you once a week. It's like seeing somebody who lives in the same apartment complex as you that you hate, but you have to live with them. So you're just like, mm -hmm. yeah, hi, Ron. Brendan, Yuri, because I feel like I'm stuck with them. It's like high hopes, they'll never leave me alone. I have to hear high hopes when I'm grocery shopping. I have to see these guys when I'm filming a video and hold my cool up. Leave me alone, never come back. You ready for a repeat joke because I just like doing this? Pina, the horse is here. I've started repeating MCR lyrics to myself in that voice. It's not even a good Lois Griffin impression, but it's so fucking funny to me. Pina, when I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with the horses, which is kind of like me in real life. I'm very scared of horses. I was not a horse child. I feel like I feared horses less as a child, though. I feel like it got worse over time. I don't know. I really do enjoy their design, though. I think they're really cute, which I think a lot of people overlook. Like, I really like Winnie. I think Winnie's adorable. I like Victoria. I like Pappy, even though he killed many people in front of me, and I watched the blood drip out of their nose like it was fucking Eleven from Stranger Things, but you know what? I forgive him for that. And I love an Okapi. I do. Okapi. Copies are one of the best animals ever. Oh, copies are my favorite. But also, Clyde, Buck, Elmer. Elmer just looks like he sells insurance and scams innocent people. Paid for Twitter blue because I feel like absolutely Buck would. Buck is like trying to get plastic surgery currently to look like Elon Musk, and I just cannot tell you how low of a point in your life that has to be. I could not imagine. There is something so sinister, and like at that point, just just chuck yourself into a hotel and live out the rest of your life in there. There's nothing else you can do. See, now we have another octopi situation. I feel like if I ever needed to prove to my psychiatrist that I still needed my medication, he could just show me a picture of one of those cows and ask what I was thinking, okay? There is anger in my heart for these people that would never be spilled out otherwise. Patty especially. Especially because she's a peppy. Like, really, you're happy? I hate to see it. I really do. Norma's like the best cow. I think she's cute color-wise, but I just still would never let her onto my island. And it's not because of looks. It's because they're the most boring, attached, clingy people on this earth, and I just cannot deal with it. Hey, can we talk? I like them slightly better than the octopi, to be honest with you. I don't know why. The penguins. We have, like, the snowman of Animal Crossing villagers. They were formed by a child with little satin gloves on. Sweet design. A very cute design. Adorable. Formed by innocence. I love the penguins deeply, especially because most of them look like they've never had a thought in their goddamn life. They would not pass math in first grade. Rolled is not my favorite right now, but I'm trying to look past that. I love Sprinkle. Sprinkle is such a gorgeous little girl. She just looks like she would be working at a fucking super expensive cafe in New York selling mint chocolate chip cookies. Sprinkle is everything to me. Cafe owner looking ass. Aurora would probably be a villain in Hereditary too. Hopper is a macaroni penguin who has definitely tasted what guts taste like before and that's interesting to me. I would also like to ask him questions about that because I am morbidly curious about his experience with cannibalism. So not in the army hammer way but in the specifically Hopper way. Like I feel like it was dire. The concept of chewing on glass bottles, I think they're a perfect design, just round and rotund and spherical. Perfect incredible. That's character design, baby. Let me fuck up your life for you, okay? I don't like the gorillas, of course. I don't love them, but to be honest with you, I don't hate them as much as everybody else does, all right? I think Pee-wee is acceptable, which is more than I can fucking say for any of the birds, for any of the hamsters, for any of the hippos. Rocket, please just let me say something nice here. You're looking at me like that, and it's making it really hard. I think Pee-wee is acceptable, and Hans. Hans is totally acceptable, of course. God, she just wants to punch me so bad. I don't even know why. Vibrator looking ass girly, but whatever. I mean, get your bag. I just can't look at them for too long or I start to rethink my decision. Anyway, paid for Twitter blue because I can tell you with full force that Al has a blue check mark next to his name. Violet also has gotten a check mark for her Avon business. The Bulls. Mm. See, I hate that they put Rodeo as the representative here because he is truly and really the only good one. I'm gonna have to put Rodeo in a bad tier because I really love Rodeo. I love my devil incarnate son. There is nothing wrong with him. He is living a happy life. He doesn't need your problems in his life and he's doing great. He is very content with his satanic rituals, okay? Let him be. But the rest of y'all, T-Bone, Stew, 
No. Hey, can we talk? Have you heard of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? If I saw Angus walking up in a suit with a bicycle, I would just run for the hills, go live out in the woods until I thought it was clear, which would probably be like three years because those Mormons, they look for you. But honestly, Rodeo, you are not a part of this. I know you're in this picture, but if it was just Rodeo, if he was the only one, I would absolutely put him in chewing glass bottles. I love Rodeo. The cats. This motherfucker, Rosie, beautiful, Mary, gorgeous, stunning, Olivia, Pearl, Mitzi. They really went crazy with it, and I feel like they went a little bit better with the cats than they did the dogs. Because Monique, I am a Monique lover. I'm not ashamed to say it. The cats have so much design variety, in my opinion. They actually look really cool, and I feel like they had so many missed opportunities with the dogs that they could have done, and the cats just pulled it off. They pulled off what they were trying to do. A universally appealing option, but also something that is cool and fun and varied. The cats definitely look like they would work a hot topic or a justice or limited to depending on what era you were born in clear phone case because i know all of the cats have a fucking clear phone case like monique might have a clear phone case with gold flakes in it or something you know but they all have a clear phone case of course and they're all gay why fix it if it ain't broke the bunnies oh my babies ruby is so cute ruby is adorable everybody overlooks ruby i think she is just the right amount of creepy to unnerve you but in a way that it's endearing a way that like a ghost casper the friendly ghost would unnerve you and i love that and tiffany is here i would sell my soul to tiffany i don't care what she does they made the best villager and then they said we're never going to promote this woman ever and it's sickening she has fishnets on are you kidding me give her some spotlight let me give her money and i'm also a big gabby stan to be honest with you i love gabby so much she's just a little farm lesbian and that's my farm lesbian okay she is hoeing up the fields as best she can she is the perfect little southern belle who is fighting for human rights every day gabby i love you the concept of chewing on glass bottles Models. Mwah. My darlings, I love the rabbits so much. The sweetest of babies, the most adorable designs, and I like how round they are. I love a little toy looking bitch, you know? Neopets toy paintbrush. Fuck the monkeys. Hey, can we talk? I knew this from the second I saw it because Monty is a hey, can we talk motherfucker. Flip is, so is Simon. Simon would steal your bank account cards and eat them. He would take your checkbook and rip them out one by one and swallow them. Why would you do that? I'm sorry, why would you do that? I kind of like Shari, in a way even though she's pissed feet hands, but whatever, that's fine. I just don't like any of the rest of them. Monty used to stalk me. Monty used to walk around my home and stalk me, and I don't like that. I don't appreciate that. They look like they would be in a bootleg version of Ocean's Eleven and not really actually do any crimes. Koalas. I feel like it's kind of impossible to not say koala in an Australian- Koala. 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 I always say koala. Which one is right? I don't know. The koalas are so fucking good. I'm sorry. I might be a little bit biased, but one of them is named Ozzy, which is my dog's name, so I would protect him with my fucking life, and I would chop off all of my fingers and feed them to a lion if I had to. I love them. And Melba, we have Melba. I honestly even really like Sydney, who was our representative today. I think she's adorable. Yuka, fuck you. You know what? Get off my island, but I'm not letting you ruin this for me. I hated Yuka. Yuka caused me so many problems. She was just so shops on QVC, rich old aunt that didn't like you. Not the rich aunt that does like you. She was the mother of the cousin that you don't know. I really like these guys though, honestly. I think they're really cute. I think the koalas are really cute, but I'm gonna put them in your cousin, but not the one you know, just because I feel like they're on par with the cubs for me. You know, I'm trying to section this off correctly so that nobody kills me, even though I'm gonna get murdered in the comments for this one, I know it, but whatever, okay? They're very pleasable. They're very acceptable. A good species to not get you upset at all. I'm even starting to kind of like Gonzo. We have a cute little love-hate relationship with each other. It's great. He's my grandpa, but I also hate him, you know? Ugh. The bears are so cryptidy to me. They are so cryptidy, and there's so many bad bears. I'm sorry. I like Teddy. I think he's cute, okay? I can stand Teddy. Klaus, Beardo, Nate. In this plane of existence, in this earth, we're still doing this. Something about them is just so threatening. They could stand over you and stare into your eyes and soak up your thoughts like photosynthesis. It's awful. Something is so off. It is like looking into the eyes of a childhood toy that came to life, but it was exposed to new clear waste and now it looks really fucked up. That's not how a bear looks. You know, the cubs were perfect. Why do we have two bears? Is this like implying that these are two different aged people? I don't like that either. Is there a family tree involved? Because I don't like that. Stop it. Hey, can we talk? Because they all remind me of my father. The alligators. Honestly, I kind of really like a lot of the alligators. I like Drago. I like Gale. I like Allie. I like Boots, honestly. I think he's a funny little clown. I feel like I change my stance on Boots every day. So if you go back to an old video and I say I don't like Boots, I didn't like him at the time. I just changed my 
thoughts on him every single day because I feel like it. Allie is somebody who would absolutely steal jewelry out of the display case for you and put it on your arm and say, you look just dashing. And I like that, you know? A grandma figure. Roswell, I forgot about Roswell. Roswell fucking bangs. Roswell fucks, okay? He was the lead drummer of Good Charlotte for a while. You just didn't know about it. Sorry, you weren't paying attention. I like them. I'm gonna go with the concept of chewing on glass bottles. I really like them. Sorry, I do. There's no alligators to me that are super off-putting. I don't think. I don't like the ant eaters. I'm sorry. I want to desperately because I think that was such a cool idea of them to have. I think ant eaters are so fun and funky and fresh. I don't like Pango. I don't like Annabelle. Paid for Twitter blue. 110%. You can't tell me that Antonio isn't trying to become a sports commentator, so he decided to verify himself to look more legit, but everybody just still knows that he was in high school smoking crack. And that's the problem in this economy because I don't blame him for being in high school and smoking crack, but I do blame him for getting a blue check mark. All right. That is all of the Animal Crossing villager species ranked. If you hate me for this, great, let's duke it out. Let's have a conversation. I know I do a lot of tier lists, but they're honestly really fun for me, and I just really enjoy doing this fucking tier listy thing. And I'm glad you guys like them too. So I will see you next week to actually restart my island, because I know you were probably expecting that this week, but I wanted to give a little bit of a break between it and let that video simmer a little bit. I'm glad that you guys liked it and found some happiness in its message. I appreciate you very much. Thank you to all of my members who will go across the next screen. I appreciate you with my whole heart. Stay safe. Stay wonderful and i will see you next time good